Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be doing a snowman letter opener and I hope that you will enjoy doing this little project. This guy is about uh, eight and a half inches long or eight inches long. You can make it as long as you want and he's out of a half inch thick piece of basswood. And so today we're going to be taking our uh, quarter inch V-tool and outlining this little guy and uh, again you can see the thickness and the length of it and so it'll be a fun little project for you to do on the weekends and wherever you're at and we're all we're going to do is outline the pencil lines on this guy and all we're, we're not carving any faces we are just going to be outlining and removing and shaping and uh, putting and the paint's going to do most of your work for you now right in here, this is the, the muffler, or the hand warmer, which snowmen really don't need a hand warmer, but anyway. But you can come up with anything you'd like there to create your snow person. Could be a child, this could be even a child, maybe even outside in the snow. And right here is going to be his scarf. And so, and then we're gonna come right down here the bottom of the body of the snowman and um, come up around the sides here because this is going to be showing the separation from the letter opener from the bottom of the snowman. <clears throat> okay, so we've got everything outlined. So now we're going to take our knife and we're going to start outlining, putting a stop cut around all these features. Again, if you want to, I can see maybe a little ball there if you'd like. If you'd like to put one there, you don't have to. Again, for safety reasons, always make sure you know where the blade is going because your fingers are not too far away from this piece. It's only half inch thick. All I'm doing here is just outlining these little features. The crooks of the arm where the hands went into the muffler. Coming here now doing the bottom of the snowman, the body. Coming around here doing the front part. Bringing our knife right on around. And Okay, so I think I've got everything pretty well stop cut. Stop cuts placed. So now we're going to start shaping the face first. Uh, I always do. Uh, I want that head to fit into the hat. And if you've watched videos in the past, you know I always start with the face area to make sure that that head is going up into the hat. And of course, now this is just a round face. This is a snowman or snow lady, however you want to do it. And so rounding the features and leaving the nose area very high. And we want to make it look like it's going back around, that it's completely rounded all the way around, front and back. Now remember, you got it's half inch thick, so you got some play here. So, and don't worry about, we're not carving any features on the face, so we're going to leave this blank, and then you go in, and you put in the eyes you would like and the nose and the mouth and so on and so forth. But if you're going to do that, I mean, we, you know, you could carve a nose on there if you wanted to, but um, now this is going to be the scarf, so the arms have to go under the scarf. And again, remember, do the sides too, okay? Make it go all the way around to the sides. This is the scarf that he's wearing. <clears throat> You may have to go back through and put more stop cuts in as you progress. This is going to be the chest area. There's one area I forgot to didn't do that right there with our stop cut. All right, now, stop cuts are a wonderful thing. So around this belly area, the chest area, and you can come up with your own colors on this. Of course, we know it's white, the body's white. 
Now, what I've done in the past too, I've used navy blue, navy blue uh, for highlighting a snowman and giving it kind of a cold look, kind of a dry brushing that on when I'm painting snowmen. Now this here is going to be tucked under. Again, we're rounding all this off. This would be nice for Christmas time when people are opening their, their Christmas letters or their Christmas cards. If someone has someone that you think a lot of, well, you can carve a bunch of these things for them. Someone at work, whatever. And if you know, if you messed up, well, you can always whittle all this off and make this little guy into an ornament to hang on your tree, you know? And you can even use this pattern to create your little, a little ornament for your tree. Again, I'm sinking that in to create The roundness of the body. Getting the sides also, as you, when you paint this, you want your paint to cover all the sides here too. Sides of the arm, body. Now I'm leaving that scarf standing out for a reason and I'll, and I'll show you here in a little bit why. And I'm going to come in and put the crooks of the arm in. We're going around, making, putting the hand inside the muffler, his hand muffler that he's keeping his hands warm. Get rid of our pencil marks here. Again, even on a snowman, there's no sharp corners. It's pretty well rounded. Creating the crooks in the arm here. Well, you little divots there, it shows, shows separation. All right, let's come up here now. Let's work on this hat a little bit. I like working all over my piece. I don't want to stay one area very long. going around around the head here. This particular hat has a separation in it. Now we're just going to start rounding things off. All we're using most most of the time here now is just your knife and the V-tool. V-tool to outline the landmarks. And then the knife comes in and starts removing those landmarks and start shaping and giving this thing some some life to it. Now this muffler is round, it's kind of a rounded shape, so 
We're just coming in and rounding these little areas like this here. Removing the flat spots, get rid of the bandsaw marks, anything here. Now here, the crook of the arm, we're gonna put a crook right there. Okay, and again, that's gonna be, now again, if you don't wanna put a scarf there, you don't have to, you can just carve that off and make that part of the body if that's easier for you. But just come in here and start shaping that arm. Now, I know this is kind of a small and little project, but it, I think you can get them done pretty quickly. Nothing like a handmade gift for the Christmas season. And every year someone hangs it on their tree, you will always remember that person who made that for you and great thoughts of that person that they took time out of their life and put a little bit of something of themselves into that piece. Because all it is is about creating great memories that you can hang on to. I'm going to come in here and put a little divot right through here. It just kind of breaks that hat up a little bit and shows wrinkles and things like that there in the hat. Yeah. Okay. Now let's work on the front of the hat here. Again, always watching where your tool is going. Now let's bring these two together. That way there won't be such a distinction there, such, such a separation. That way it'll show it's kind of joins together. I'm taking my V-tool here and kind of cleaning it up. It'll be a little quicker, I believe. Oh, look at there, how nice that turned out. And always make sure you wipe off the rouge off your tools before you carve. Okay, now we're gonna go deeper here on the sides to give this face a more rounded appearance. And as you do that, then you'll need to take your hat and do the same too by going back like this here, make it look like it's following the head instead of it look like it's just sticking on there. Okay, all right. A lot of turning and twisting and carving to get the right angle that way you can get the correct cut and also the most safest cut. All right, now with the scarf, let's take this scarf and wrap it around the body here. And carve that scarf using the tip of the knife. And again, we're just making our cuts through here. Again, deepening. That, oh, he's a coming together. I'm liking this. And we're about, I think, we're getting close to the finish line here in a little bit. A few more minutes. I think we'll have a snowman that came out of this piece of wood here. All right, so now let's, let's put in this little scarf here. Again, you don't want to go very deep here because it's just laying right on top of the body. And come in here and get this cleaned up. Get that cleaned up. All right. And to show that scarf sticking out just a little bit, take a little bit off the arm there. All right. And bring out the muffler here more. Sticking it out a little bit better. It's just fun to do small things like this and simple, simple things, you know, when you've been carving a lot, doing some pretty uh, in-depth carving on some of these things that I do. It's nice to take a break from something more hard and more challenging to do something simple like this here. And all right.
taking our V tool here, kind of cleaning this up here, giving more depth there. <clears throat> Okay, all right, now we're about to the point to where I'm gonna show you what you can do here. Now let's put in the, um, the part of the scarf that would have the little strings, part of the frills of the scarf at the, at the end of it, and like so, okay. Clean this up here. Okay, continue rounding this off here. Now as you carve, set it back a little bit, hold it out and look at it. Sometimes be good to set it down, walk away from it, come back to it a few minutes and you'll see things that you'll need to tweak here and there and straighten out and things like that there. Again, we want to put some turns and twist in the hat by taking your knife and putting these little wrinkles in and coming right up here and getting rid of all the bandsaw marks and things like that there. Okay. Okay, so now let's put in another little Cut right here. Yeah, let's put in some more right here. One right there. Just adds to it. All right. And then take our pencil here and you can make however eyes you'd like or the nose you would like for this guy to have and put him on a smiling face. And boy, he is looks happy, he looks cold. And uh, so anyway, I hope that you will um, try this out. And we just hope that you will enjoy this project because it is a lot of fun to do. And again, you can do the, uh, the letter, part, letter opening part of it on your own. And so don't be afraid to try things like this here. And I hope that it'll be a fun project for you. Thank you for watching today and happy carving and like and subscribe and hit a bell, hit the bell and leave us a comment below. Thank you. Bye-bye.